Hello guys and welcome back to Murphy Bed Studios. My name is Alex and in today's video, I am gonna show you the mechanism that we use on all of our beds and stick around to the end of the video to see how it actually works on uh, the bed once it's installed. So let's jump right into it. So the mechanisms that we use for our Murphy beds and have used for the last seven years have been a spring-loaded mechanism. We don't really get into the piston mechanisms because pistons, in my opinion, tend to wear out a lot faster down the road from use. So we use um, spring mechanisms that have uh, a very simple function and they work for many, many years. When you open up the box, you're gonna have one of these guys is basically the content in the box. You're gonna get two mechanisms. You're gonna get uh, two bags that have nine springs in them that look like, like this. So each side is gonna have nine springs, but not all springs are gonna get loaded because of the weight of the mattress. Another thing that you're gonna get is one of these packs that have all the bolts and nuts and everything that you need to put together for this specific mechanism. And lastly, you have one of these metal components. It's a me uh, metal tube uh, that is designed to, to slide right into here. And so when, when you are installing the, the bed frame into it, you have to, once this is secured on the side, you have to pull back and this little ear, and I'll show that in the next, at the end of the video, this little ear right here will attach to that right there and it'll lock that in place as you bolt on the frame of the Murphy bed. So the mechanism basically works. It's got two bearings that swivel back and forth. That's what the bed frame is attached to right here. These springs um, are always preloaded. It's got four on each side uh, when you open the box up. And this is where you start adding springs for the different weights of your mattress. And so the way this mechanism works is basically it goes backwards and forward. And as the bed opens, there's more tension that occurs. And so these springs start to expand. And when you're closing it, springs tend to uh, uh, go back to their normal position. Once the mechanism is installed, you have this cover that will eventually sit right over here like that once it's open and it'll cover up all the springs so that way no fingers get in there. And so the way this mechanism works when there is no bed frame attached to it, it's very, and this is the only way that you can load more springs or take them out. And so I will demonstrate a little bit about how to put a spring in and how to take one out. So we're gonna load a couple springs right now and uh, if you have some, some gloves, little latex gloves. I put them on just because these are a little greasy. And as you can see right here, when you swivel this around, it kind of gives it a little easier way of pushing a spring in or taking one out. So to take one out, you know, you could just end up pushing one side and pulling, pulling them out. The same thing coming back in, it's a little bit more difficult. You do have to kind of bend the spring a little bit and, and release as you latch it into this portion. Same thing here, right there. When you've installed your bed frame and your uh, bed frame doesn't wanna sit on the floor like the legs are kinda coming up a little bit off the floor, it means that you have a little bit too many springs in there uh, because that tension is pulling that bed to come up the floor. So what you need to do is you need to remove the bed frame out of the mechanism, and that, that's in my separate videos that you can watch. Uh, once that is in place and it's loose, this is where you wanna come in and remove a spring. So if you want a little bit more of a fine tune where you just need just a little bit more tension, you wanna add the springs on the bottom of the mechanism. Because the bottom of the mechanism tend to give you a little less tension than if you add them on the top of the mechanism. So if you, if, if you have a really heavy mattress, you definitely want to load up most of the top springs and then add a few more. So these will always be the last springs that you will load. So when you're loading the spring or any spring, you really want to, you have to start from the back side. 
that's closer to the wall. You want to secure that one in place and then you want to help maneuver and help out by adjusting and positioning that next spring. So once you've added, usually on a standard size mattress, 12 inches, that's not a Tempur-Pedic or a foam mattress, you know, you want to have about six springs on each side to get a good balance. So now you've kind of seen how uh, the springs are loaded in the mechanism. You've seen uh, what kind of mechanisms we use. Now, if you want to walk back with me to my showroom, I want to show you how this mechanism actually works with the bed frames that we have and how the springs uh, work as it's being opened and closed. So follow me and I'll show you that. So now we are at one of our beds with this mechanism installed on the side panel. As you could see, you know, we do have the cover plate that is uh, covering up the springs for liability purposes. So you want to take a Phillips uh, and un unscrew this. So as you can see, we have five springs on this side and we have six springs on that side. Uh, and so that perfectly balances this specific mattress. And as you can see, see how far these springs are extended. So what I'm gonna show you is how, when you're closing the bed, how these springs will move back into their position as it's being closed up. In our mechanisms, we have two bearings that are always moving when you are opening and closing the bed. And uh, as you can see, the top bearing is right here and another bearing is right below that. That is what this metal mechanism rides on as it's being opened and closed. Uh, they do come pre-lubricated already, but over time, sometimes when the bed sits there and maybe is not used as often, they will start to kind of squeak a little bit. And so. A little simple every six months or so, take a little WD-40 and just do a little squirt of lubricant right in there and then try to have a, a long nozzle. A little bit right there and that will solve that issue with any noise that this might make. I wanna really emphasize that I really need you guys to put the cover back over these springs. And it's just for safety purposes, these springs are tensioned really well and you don't want any kids and their fingers getting stuck in there and be a big problem on that end. So this cover, it's got a little, couple little ears right there that will slide into these cavities right here. Secure and then you have the screw that comes with it. The top, hole is what you want to so there you go that is how our spring mechanism work and that is the mechanism that we use on all of our Murphy beds